Hello there. In this video, we're going to go through an overview of how to calculate the domain and range of curves or functions, assuming that we already know what the graph of that relation or function looks like. So let us look at a basic example. Let us assume we have an elliptical curve, such as the following. And let's assume this ellipse uh, goes up to 7 and goes down to negative 7 goes to the left as far as 3 and goes to the right as far as positive 3. And let's assume that this vertical axis is the y-axis and let's assume this is the x-axis. And let us call this relation R. So let us also assume that this relation does obtain these four points. And we can see that it obtains all the ones in between negative 3 and 3 and also obtains all the y values in between negative 7 and 7. At least one time. Clearly it's not a function of x, not a function of y, that, that, that can be easily proven via the vertical and horizontal line test respectively. But we can see at least from this graph that the domain of this relation is going to be all real numbers from minus 3 to 3. And we can rewrite that in set notation if we want. So we can write the domain of r to be equal to the set of all x such that negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. So that's the domain of this relation. Also, we can find the range by looking at the y values for which it obtains. So we can see the range of this relation is going to be all the y values from minus 7 to 7, which we can write as minus 7 to 7. Or we can write it in set notation as the range of r r is going to be the set of all y values, it's just that y is between negative 7 and positive 7. And that's just based on looking at the graph. Let's assume we have a, another type of shape, x, y. So let's assume our curve now looks like this. So this is what we call a hyperbola. And let's assume this minimum value is 5 and this x y, this height value is negative 5. And let's assume it goes infinitely in both the left and right directions. Let's assume that's what those arrows mean. So we can see based on this graph um, and based on that interpretation that the domain of this relation, so let's call again this relation R, so the domain is going to be equal to all real numbers from minus infinity to infinity. You can never reach pos positive or minus infinity, so we always put parentheses there. Or we can rewrite that in set notation as the domain of R is going to be the set of all x such that x is a real number. Now for the range, notice that we do not attain any y values between negative 5 and positive 5, but we have everything below negative 5, so from minus infinity up to minus 5, inclusive, assuming we hit that point, and we also have everything from 5 up to positive infinity. So therefore, the range of this relation is going to be all real numbers from minus and infinity up to negative 5, inclusive, together with the interval 5 to positive infinity. Or we can rewrite that instead in interval notation but in set notation as the range of r is equal to the set of all y such that y is less than or equal to negative 5 or y is greater than or equal to positive 5. Now let's do an example where the function is not actually, you know, exactly uh, the nicest looking function. So let's assume our new relation, let that be x, let that be y. Let's assume our relation looks like this. So it's a little line segment, has a hole there. That hole has a height of negative 3, a horizontal value of negative 4. And then there's a gap. And then we have another line segment here. Let's assume that's 2. And let's assume now that the curve jumps up here. Uh, and that has a height value of 8. 
So what is the domain and range of this function? And if you want to pause this video to sort of try and guess what this is, uh, feel free to do so. So if we look at our x values, notice that our x values go all the way over, down, or over to minus infinity, and it goes up to this value. That's what this little line segment takes care of. So it goes up from minus infinity to minus four, but it doesn't include it because it's an open circle here. Uh, so we can say that the domain of this relation, and let's assume this relation is again R, so this is going to be equal to minus infinity up to minus 4 with a parenthesis since it doesn't include it. And now what else do we have? Well notice that we don't have any x values between here and here. There's no values for which this relation exists between x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 0. But look here, we do have values from here to this value that is taken care of by this horizontal component. So it's going to be a bracket 0 because it's a closed circle there. And it goes up to 2 parentheses because it's an open circle there. And now we look at the next point, uh, which this next line considers. And notice that this piece goes all the way from 2 to positive infinity. So we can then union that bracket with 2 to infinity. So it's three intervals, negative infinity to negative 4. 0 to 2 and 2 to infinity. But do notice here that of course this interval doesn't include 2 but this interval actually does so we can actually glue these two intervals together into one since we're not missing anything in between. So we can thus say the domain of the relation is going to be equal to minus infinity to minus 4 parenthesis union bracket 0 to positive infinity since 2 is not a missing point. And we can also write that in set notation if we want to as well. So the domain of R is going to be the set of all x values such that x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than or equal to 0. And now let's look at the range for this relation. So let's start on the bottom and work our way to the top. So the range of the relation is going to be equal to so this curve goes all the way down to minus infinity and goes all the way up to minus 3. Again, it does not include the y value of minus 3 because it's an open circle. So the range is going to be equal to minus infinity up to minus 3 parenthesis, and then we'll see where the rest of this relation sort of covers. So now this horizontal line only covers one y value because it's a horizontal line. It doesn't include one above, it doesn't include one below, it just covers zero only. So we just need to include the set that only contains zero. And then this next piece picks up with a y value of eight and goes all the way up to positive infinity. So that's just going to be eight to positive infinity. So we can also rewrite this in set notation if we really want to. Uh, so we can say the range of this relation is going to be equal to the set of all y such that y is less than negative 3 or y is greater than or equal to 8 or y is equal to 0. And you can rewrite that in any order that you want. Uh, it's going to be the same exact interpretation. And that's just some basic overview of how to calculate the domain and range of relations if you have the graph of it already generated for you.